Another podcast by the Burning Donuts. Known on police record as a brony slash anthropologist, the Burning Donut is really Aaron Frank. His dual identity known by anyone who checks out his online galleries. And now, to protect freedom of speech and to produce some kick-ass artwork, rides the Burning Donut. Hey everyone, it's says the Burning Donut reporting as live as possible in a recorded format. And today, I have guests with me, and they are... Noe Rowe. Noe Rowe. Yeah, introduction. And once again, we managed to completely fail. I think we got one time where we actually, did it right. Actually, actually, we didn't fail that time. Well, okay, so anyway... <laughs> I, 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 okay, everyone here has seen the, the, the season finale of My Little Pony, correct? Oh, crap, I thought it was Breaking Bad we were talking about. Oh, uh, all right, I guess we got to stop. And... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. All right, so. Twilight's Kingdom. Indeed. Yeah. The, uh, the season four finale, that was a thing that happened. I was to watch that. You did. Boone, just kick him out of the Skype call. <laughs> Whoop! You're gone! <laughs> okay, so. Does, uh, okay. The, the season four finale was a thing. It, people saw it. What are your thoughts? What did you like? Not like? Aaron. I, real, I really like the new interpretation of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> the action scenes were really different for the series, though. That was for sure. Well, first, oh. I I found them I found them to be kind of you know it's pretty. It was good. It was just really different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's when I realized, oh, they really made it for everyone now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, but they're alternate forms. Uh, <laughs> Rainbow power. Yeah, I, I guess we should just get those out of the way first. Okay, so uh, how does everyone feel about the rainbow power ponies? Give them just necklaces again. I'm fine with it. No. <laughs> I... No, give them necklaces. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, say, well, seriously, I thought the, the, the designs looked absolutely fucking terrible. Rarities was probably the worst. Yeah, yeah, Rarities, it looked like someone, like, took a picture of Rarity and just, like, used Photoshop and the Zoom tool to make her mane bigger and then, like, smudge tool it to where it would try to fit, like, on her head. And it just looked like crap. I think, like, Megan McCarthy or someone just gave their daughter a picture of <laughs> just, like, those draw-yourself pony things or whatever in a coloring book and just said, here, honey, just deal with this. Oh. And put it into the show for you. I, I, what is I, this? I, well, I already made my promise. So. <laughs> oh dear. No, I think Rainbow Dash was eh, worse. I, I kind of. Well, admittedly, Rainbow Dash was the best looking of all of them. Rainbow but, Dash looked like a breed. <laughs> but that's still yeah. saying. Not much. Yeah, I mean that—that's kind of like saying that, like, of the survivors of the train wreck, she was the least broken. <laughs> oh God! What <laughs> exactly? This just does not compute. <laughs> of the people who were completely destroyed and ruined by this train wreck, she was the least destroyed and ruined of it. <laughs> now, besides all of their stupid looks, the only thing I could really notice and not take my eye off is just. Twilight's constant breeze. Yeah. It was. They, like, they went Super Saiyan. That's the entire point of that. It, it wasn't the breeze. It was It was the constant flow of energy. Yeah. <laughs> the power was escaping through their hair. So it all just, over their body. No, but it was just Twilight, though. Yeah. It's the princess powers at work. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. So. Okay, that's... That, now that we got the super side yeah. uh, saying pony I, I, mode now, now that we got like the part everyone <laughs> hated out of the way. Okay, let's let's go on to uh, the bad guy of the season finale. I really like that they put Tyrick in. I thought it was the greatest thing ever. Yeah. Uh, on, honestly, 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 guys, honestly, guys, I liked it. Good. Good. Yeah, Tyrick <laughs> was pretty awesome. Everyone. I, I, yeah. I guess. I guess putting in the G one. 
villain wasn't that bad. You know, he's like one of the darkest villains from G1, right? I I know. It's like every time I show someone the the, the episode he came from, their jaws kind of drop, and they're like, what? What is this? I still need to see that. That's also where we got that weird voice spike from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just give me a link to that, and I'm going to watch it live right now. Oh. And then we'll do a review on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the review within a review. <laughs> All you got to do is look up a My Little Pony uh, Generation G- 1, I guess. G1 pilot episode. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's like an hour long, maybe. Oh, no, no, no. The, the, the pilot episode is like only 20 minutes long. I thought it was a pilot movie. Well, no, no, it, it was, it was some, some places kind of labeled it My Little Pony the movie, mm. but no, it, it, it was, it was the first, it was what it was was the actual first episode to kind of like say, to basically say this is what the My Little Pony show could look like. Yeah. Yeah. What was cool uh, is that they mentioned Scorpion into. Scorpin. <laughs> yeah, Scorpion. Uh. And in the original, he was just the prince that Turek turned it, into wait, a wait, wait. gargoyle. Does this mean he's also a prince? Or no? No, he's uh, Turek's brother in this. Oh, that's lame. I'd rather I would rather see humans. <laughs> I want my fan fictions confirmed. Well, I I, I, I confirm my fan fictions, please, I, please, Hasbro. I, w- I was a little concerned when I saw the the, the preview for uh. For the episode, where like Lord T Rex is basically what looked like a really small monkey, and I was like, yeah. I was like, what the? Is this going to? Are they going to turn T Rex into being Rafi- an evil Rafiki? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and then like and then I start watching the show, and it's all like, is he friend? Is he foe? This little pony <laughs> does not know, and I'm like, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Please. I, I don't think I can talk about the promotional material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but I I mean it 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 was like as far as like villains from My Little Pony go, he is now my favorite. It's like Queen Crystallis was eh okay, Discord is cool yeah, but you know Sombra. Nightmare Moon was badass, admittedly, and then and we never see her again. Oh, of course so. not. You know. Oh. Like, Wait, what about what, what about Zombre- Zombrero? Oh, oh, that guy? I forgot about him. Oh, <laughs> right in the field. <laughs> what about the rape tentacles in season four? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, see, see, that doesn't technically qualify as a villain. So it's like... <laughs> but, yes, they do. They, they ruin the question. Okay, fine. It just Still. Te- technically counts as Discord, technically. Still. I'm saying, it counts as one of Discord's many tools. Still, I'm saying that as a villain from My Little Pony, T Rex is now my favorite. Wait, wait, wait! What about the, what, what about the worst villain of all? Writers. What the writers? Oh, the writers. <laughs> yeah, those 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 bitches. Fucking writers of the show! How dare they? Oh God, that's Maybe so. Maybe feel this thing for a children's show. I know. What what's with these eyes? And then suddenly a storm rises. Uh-huh. Oh, are you watching the first episode? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is this is gonna be great. <laughs> Why okay. are you watching the first episode ever? I know, I know. That's what I'm doing. Recording. <laughs> hey, recording <Dragons>. format. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now, now, now. Admittedly. I feel kind of bad because, like, as Tirek was like started out, he was he was a very you know just even his voice actor was so good at just like making him sound like evil and 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 poetic and everything like that. And then like it, it, then as he became stronger, he kind of became. It's almost as if they pr- were turning the character more and more one dimensional as he became yeah. stronger, which was sad. But, you know... True. Roids make you do that. <laughs> yeah, especially especially magic roids. <laughs> yeah. I mean... That just sounds like something that you need cream for. 
Good night, night, everybody. Oh lord, uh, this voice acting. Uh, okay, yes. Um, <laughs> about, about the like uh, him stealing the magic from people. Like, so uh, when he steals magic from the Pegasi, does that, does that does that mean like their flight comes from magic? Yes, yeah. yes, it's all innate magic. They have supernatural flight, and the wings are at best to focus. Well, um, a lot of people, well, like I was saying earlier, is that like you know how uh, like, like Asian dragons they just kind of like float around and stuff. Well, they just move their bodies around in the air. Yeah. Well, well, there there was kind of a, a kind of a one of the many fan theories that have been going out there is that like the 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 Pegasus pony magic kind of works like that, where they kind of use their wings as more of a a, pro, uh, a propeller type action rather than actual like floating and holding them up and stuff and then also uh standing and breaking clouds yeah 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 and then earth pony magic now which is be i i like like the pegasus idea it's like the ability to till grounds and be good with farming well there there it's the nature bond yeah the yeah there there's (laughs) the, the biggest theory that i've kind of into a bit is that there is the the Earth Pony strength and like you said the 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 uh, the, the nature bond, <laughs> which is yeah. like which is like during the Mod Pie episode, I found so con- I, I was so confused when so many people were like surprised when like Mod Pie broke the rock to save Pinkie Pie because like because yeah. a- a- it's like well isn't that kind of what you guys were saying all along that Earth Ponies are like really strong and. And they're like, oh, no, I don't understand how she could break the rock. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like, yeah, they and, and didn't he actually say that he took like the Earth Pony strength? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, it's canon now. Yeah. Your fan theory just became canon. <laughs> so who's fan theory? Fine. Sure. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. What did the writers do? <laughs> oh God! They made a huge mistake. Take it back. <laughs> uh, who, who who was the writer? Was it Megan McCarthy this time? Yeah. Well, I, yeah. She's writer and executive producer. Well, yeah. I I, I, I I know. I know. But like a lot of people tend to like complain about the episode she makes and stuff. So it's, it was. Well, she, let's see. I, she, I think the major one she made was the um uh the. Rainbow, Sonic Rainbow one. Yeah, well, what, well and it's then, actually pretty uh, liked in the fandom. Yeah, but she also made the um, season three finale. Oh. But for hey. both of those, <laughs> Pony's got wings, so... That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> no. She did more. That's just like the two that I remember. Now, now, who... Did anyone get wings in this one? Good question. No. Hold up, let's go, let's go some, like super I, analyze. I know Legend Ponies let's lost the ability of their wings, but does that count? Well, well, well. Who else was thinking that like the box is going to open and they were all going to become alicorns? Eh, I felt that would just be the BS excuse, really. Oh, I know. They were bo- both of these excuses are BS. The true excuse and the alicorn excuse are BS. Well, I know that's the thing. Is that like? Uh, but I, I was like, I, I was literally thinking like, the, the, like the box got up and started opening, and I'm like, are they really gonna just like give them all alicorn magic now? That would be total shit if they did. And then if, and then we got this excuse. It's like I kind of wanted alicorns now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're kind of like, I, I don't know if this is better. Well, it, I already knew that was going to happen because they have hinted at this toy line for so long. Well, I, I've actually seen like some of the toys, and that, that's part of what yeah. pissed me off about the design most was that that's basically all it was was the regular toys. Buy the toys, the, buy the toys, yeah. buy the toys, buy the toys. With with like a couple extra stickers on them here and there, and I'm like, I'm like, you suck, that, bitches. When <laughs> so Jeremy and I were talking about, and we both had the same idea, is when they showed Twilight's castle mm-hmm. being grown. We just thought, buy, buy the toys, buy the toys, buy the toys, <laughs> buy the set. I know, I know. I was half expecting buy now for 19.99. Now available at your local toy store. Twilight's castle. <laughs> Actually, the one thing with the toy line, um, I found interesting how, um, uh, and um, they did not include uh, Applejack where I got my toys. 
just Dragons. vinyl scratch. They, they replaced Applejack with vinyl scratch. I'm like, and they also oh. cut another one of the main six. Are you talking about the McDonald Rainbow Power ones? Yeah. Yeah, they cut uh, Applejack and someone else. I think it might have been Rarity. No, uh, no, no, no. There, there's a Rarity. Th- that was part one, and it had a musical number that sent straight out of the theater. Oh, was that the uh, uh, the Shooby Doo one? Call upon the sea ponies when you're in distress. No, no, no. I hate that song. It is dancing on air. Oh, man. They'll be dancing on air when they meet you. (laughs) Either way, back to the the review. That one kind of looks like shining armor. Shush. Oh, they had five of the main six for the McDonald toys. (laughs) And they'll say they had the old Luna look in Celestia. Eh, it's okay. In vinyl. Was Celestia pink? Does this mean vinyl? No, I know. They actually did and... it. They did a Celestia right. <laughs> Wait, does this mean they're going to have an available part? Well, vinyl sketches is going to have an available part in uh, Quest Three Girls. Maybe. There's a theory that she might. Uh, like, hey, like, like, so far, the only thing I like about the, the coming out about the whole Equestria Girl thing. Was the, uh, was that short with vinyl scratch walking? Yeah, that was, that was actually. <laughs> it's like, wait, it's like just, just just her walking is the best part. Nothing else. What? No, no. What they also the... don't show her talking as to not piss off the fandom. Yeah, yeah, because, because you know if just no whacking does not do her voice, <coughs> people are gonna get pissed off. Well, they could get someone that sounds similar to her. No. Yeah. No, that would that, not be cool. Because no. you know that's so easy to do too. <laughs> Because, like, seriously, if people don't have no acting doing the voice and have the first words out of her out of her mouth be like my base cannon, that they'll okay, 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 okay. That last part sounds is just too much, too much to ask. Base cannon. <laughs> they're, they're they're not gonna add base cannon. Yeah, they will. You never know. <laughs> I, I I I am like super positive. No, that Luis, they're not. Luis, you're forgetting. Buy the toys. Buy the toys. Buy the toys. Buy the base cannon today <laughs> yeah, for only a million cannon. dollars. Uh, and then, uh, you know, every brony would go out and buy it, it if the base cannon became available like that. Oh, yeah. A million dollars for a base cannon. Oh, God. What did the villain just do? <laughs> you know it. Holy crap. Needles. The, awesome. The, the villain just caught this falling human. <laughs> All right. right. Before the ground. Yeah, okay. Lovely. No, no, no. Everybody, everybody, just, just shut up. Why? Dead air. I want to know. Dead air. Hey, this, podcast, this podcast is pretty good, you know, time out of time. <laughs> we haven't gotten that much off topic at all. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> the last, like, minute or two we did, but we, we've been doing okay so far. It's all good. But, uh, yeah. anyways, uh, anything the villain has so- some decency. And, and- that's surprising. Why are you talking yeah. about that while we're doing a review on this? Because it's related. Sort of. Not really. Well, I... Eric's in it. <laughs> okay. On uh, to... Applejack's in it. Now, okay. now I have to admit, uh, the, 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 the saddest, the, I would have loved to have seen them bring the, 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 the Rainbow of Darkness into G4. What was, what was Rainbow of Darkness? I, we, he he had he had like a bag that would like do a heartbeat and pulsate and stuff like that. Oh, wasn't that uh, the Tyrek episode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Is it's, it's, oh yeah, yeah. And the thing is, when I was a kid, that thing scared the shit out of me. Yeah. I was kind of <laughs> expecting the plot to just be that Tyrek was turning ponies into monsters. That would have been cool, but you know, I don't blame. Him that would have been cool, but like they would have lost so many viewers because of that. It's like, uh, this is basically what they're just stealing. Okay. No. What's Children that would be darkness? terrified to watch ponies at this point. <laughs> do, 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 is, is this show honestly for children at this point? Yes. Yeah, okay. Basically, the way I've been getting the feeling is that they kind of do, like, the finales and the premieres, the kind of, like, grab just, bonus just, attention just, and then... Just just just, uh, and, just puts this show on Adult Swim already. <laughs> Yeah, oh my awesome. god, that would be amazing. <laughs> Just so they so start is that cursing. Spike? Yes, it's Spike. Yeah. Yeah. And then the uh, one that's uh, the unicorn with white and purple is Twilight Velvet. Oh no 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 no! Her name her name or, is just Twilight. There, there's no, yeah, that's right. There's no but, sparkle. There's no velvet. There's no anything else. Yeah. It's just Twilight. 
Chocolate yeah, milk. and then Twilight Sparkle's mom is called Twilight Velvet. And, she's and then Applejack her. almost... Applejack falls off a bridge. Who's a silly pony? You're a silly pony. Who Applejack. Is, is Applejack. All right, so... Okay. Okay. Stop talking about the episode I, and let's get on the review. I see what's Stop coming Stop talking on. about the episode so we can get back to talking about the episode. Wait. Okay. So, uh, Discord in this episode. Uh, he was out of character. I didn't like him. He made Flutter Shack cry. Dude, he was in character perfectly. I, 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 I he made, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just being every brony and saying <laughs> he made Flutter Shack cry. Uh, oh, just I made Flutter Shack cry. Well, I, I have to admit, his, his actions this episode were a little... Out of character? Yeah, uh, not out of character, but it was like, it was uh, hard to tell. Yeah. You know, it... Well, it, it, it because on the one hand, he wasn't being very smart. If if we're actually supposed to believe that he was tricked by this guy, and on the other hand, it's like if he cared about Tyrick as a friend, why would he decide to screw over the one friend he actually had? And it's like I, I think it's because he finally thought he had something better than friendship for or at this time. Ah, uh, so so it, it was like it was like. He had his, like he's, he had friendship that equaled power, so like yeah, yes, yeah. I, I could see that, yeah, yeah. So, it's like, so, it, so it, he it, could he, he, so he could go back to his old roots, but still having friendship to be there. Yeah. yeah, but they did a good job showing that he was like hesitant about it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 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 he didn't just flat out be like, "Hey, Turek, I know where the third princess is. Let's go." Fourth or fourth. The fourth yeah. princesses, let's go. <laughs> you know. Speaking of, how, how long is, how long has Cadence been around? Uh, yes. Probably. She, she, she's been around since Twilight was born. I'm pretty sure. Well, no. Well, in the series, she's been around since the se- uh, series two finale. Yeah, but time-wise, but, but, time-wise, we don't know how old she actually is. Yeah. We but know she's about. Enough, we, or, we know we know she's a little bit older than Twilight. I'm gonna go ahead and say. Yeah, we know that she's like old enough that she actually changed facial features between when she babysat Twilight and now. Yeah. Because she had a rounded muzzle compared to the squared one but now. Basically, she is the only pony in existence so far that has at any point been a teenager. Theoretically. <laughs> yeah, uh, in the Armor? show. It's yeah, they way. technically showed Shining as a teenager. Yeah. And then there's stuff like the comics. Well, well, those yeah. those, those aren't canon. Well, I mean, no. It, 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 it's hard to say because, like, Sonic the Hedgehog kind of dealt with the same issue, you know, because it was like the, the, the comics kind of represented, like, what the writers wanted to do with the series. So yeah. it's like, you know, you, you couldn't really say whether they were canon or not. Why is there a gnome here? Yes. I really want to punch this dude in the face. Because he keeps on interrupting and bringing us off topic. It's kind of funny oh. watching him listening, watch it. Yeah, I know. It's like... We couldn't do this after the recording, couldn't we? No. We could, okay. we could. Or. Or just... it would just be so much more interesting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, on to the next shit, 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 shit. On to the next shit, shit, shit? I just yes. want to... He's just testing how far you want to go until you start censoring it. Shit, yes. fuck, damn, ass, cunt, bitch, motherfuck, or bitch, cunt. And you or... a lot of censoring to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck censorship. Although, seriously, we probably oh, shouldn't, like, cuss a whole lot like I just did. <laughs> you just used all of our limited cussing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you just used all the, uh, the the season. Uh, you just you used all you used all the episodes. We have like two points. swear words left. We get twenty per episode. <laughs> Ass shit. Damn. God man. damn it. God. Fuck shit. Oh. And then you just start it bleeping done. it out. Wait. Now oh, we owe the balls. viewers cuss words. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're taking the cuss words from the viewers. Our we're our our eight second delay is running out. Sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wait, what? Are the eight second delay when uh, when radio shows are done? Yeah. Oh. When, when when like live broadcasts are done, they usually have an eight second delay just in case someone's an asshole and calls in the show and is like, "Hey, fuck you." All all, all, all the rest of the world's gonna hear is, "Hey, you." And then it's all because they hit the delay button. Yeah. 
problem solved. Yeah. So, back on the topic, more or less. <laughs> Maybe. Was there uh, the, the the fight scene at the end? Uh, plus, minus, did you like it? I really, I really, really, really hated it. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, best fight scene. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. I, 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 I'm kind of... I, okay, the thing is, my favorite part of My Little Ponies, and a lot of people don't agree with this kind of thing, but oh, I, I love when My Little Pony does action scenes. Oh, I don't agree with you then. Oh, okay. Can you explain why? Oh, well, okay, because I... I love action cartoons, okay? Yeah. I, I'm into... I mean, like, seriously, like... like the hell is all that? No. Someone's eating something, or Luis is just not me. <laughs> sure. Um, but like, 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 as far as like cartoons, I like. I love like, like, uh, like, like Thundercats and GI Joe and all kinds of things like that. And it's always bugged me. Cobra. <laughs> well, it's always bugged me that like the last like about ten years or so, there's been this kind of this this kind of fear of actually doing a full blown action cartoon. Yeah. And uh, My Little Pony... <laughs> and My Little Pony is the one to break that. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> it, it, it's, like, it's like My Little Pony is like the one show that has actually dared to allow action-oriented plots in its show. And it's like, well, I mean, that and like, like, like Adventure Time and things like that. In Steven Universe. Uh, uh, okay, anyway. Well, <laughs> I'm uh, back on subject. Uh. <laughs> A part of that is that it's got the, the right setting for it. Yeah. All sorts of magical beasts. <laughs> well, um, the thing is, the thing that bugs me is almost every cartoon that has action scenes in it these days, though they, they try as hard as they can to look like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> and it's yeah. like, it's like, it's like, don't get me wrong, I like it, but come on, there's other ways to write action here, guys. Okay, so that's so. Is that T Rex? Yeah. Yes, that is T. Big centaur like dude with arms. Yeah. I I do. <laughs> I'm glad they picked up the design. <laughs> Just imagine having that design. For the I am T Rex, Lord of Darkness. It's like, oh well, the, God. <laughs> oh yeah, that that's. That's right. This isn't the first time they brought something from the old generation. They brought the Breezies in. That's G3. Oh, God. Oh, well, well, we, 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 prefer, we prefer G1. I mean, at the very least, G2, but my God. Well, G2 never existed, time-wise, why? Yeah, I know, but... Well, what, are they gonna from, like, what, what are they going to add from G2? Um... Uh, hey, we just got cell phones, and we, we, we now have, like, skinny jeans. <laughs> okay. No, no, they visit oh, Detroit. God. They visit Detroit. That's where they all lived. They lived in Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but, I mean, seriously, fucking, um, the, oh, no, the Breezies, no, are, are terrible. No, they're just, no. Okay, uh, but, yeah, back to, uh, back, well, back to being on topic, more or less. Uh, yeah, I, 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 it's it's nice to see them trying to have action, but it's kind of like it would be nice to see them do it in a different way. And it's hard to explain, but it's like you know. I, yes, I, I, I. However, I did enjoy seeing things like like the laser beam fights where they're actually like 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 if you watch the animation like in the scene where 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 basically like Twilight's beam is never a straight-on controlled beam. It's just basically energy blasting the fuck out of everywhere. You know, where... She has to contain her energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's our power level! Your power it's level. Over nine. No, no, no. And then they have the Breezy come in. Oh, God. <laughs> over 9,000? No, no, it would be like, hey, what does the scouter say about her power level? <laughs> because you know that Breezy is the one who did the voice of Vegeta. You're kidding. No, oh. yeah, that was the voice of Vegeta who did that line in the. Jesus in the Christ, up. that's badass, yeah. kind of. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Well, I think like one of the Flim Flam brothers, I think played like Piccolo or something. Hmm. 
I know one of them was Double D in like Martin well, history yeah, yeah. or whatever. Well, well I, I've I've heard that Scott McNeil did uh, one of the voice of the Flim Flam Brothers, but he was uncredited, and it doesn't really sound like Scott McNeil, so it's hard to say. That that's voice acting. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, the, the Scott McNeil is one of those voice actors that has a certain pitch that if you hear it, you recognize it. And, uh, yeah. and I mean, it's possible that maybe he was maybe he was just doing this kind of a voice and I didn't quite catch it because he did too good of a fuck. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but, like, yeah, Scott McNeil was Flam. Oh, he was? Yeah. And Sam Vincent was Flam. Oh, that's that's badass. Yeah. Also, Peter New plays Big Macintosh and Caramel. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh. So back <laughs> onto the <laughs> back onto the <laughs> back on subject. Back on subject. <laughs> hey, yes, yeah, but I have to admit it would be kind of cool. Here. So, what does Wait. the scouter say about his power level? <laughs> <laughs> Did I want to know anything in the up, background but... in that episode because I wasn't paying attention. Huh? Did anyone notice anything in the background or any references? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't see any. There wasn't really. The only one I found was like the Mary Poppins reference. Yeah, that was. A, I like that reference. Yeah, it was. It was nice. <laughs> but I mean, seriously. And also, and also, I just recently discovered the scooter that uh, uh, that Discord pops out of nowhere. It's a uh, a scooter from a uh, uh, Lilith's pet shop. Oh, that's cool. Oh, huh. Well, Discord's going to be your main reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, he is kind of... Like... Oh, um, the part oh, where and Discord split... did this other thing? I'm joking. So go, go the ahead. The part where he split his head apart? Yeah. I think that was a reference to, like, Matrix or something. Oh, no. Um, uh, I, or, or at least it kind of made me think about was uh, was uh, Terminator 2 the, with yeah, I, been bad. I mean, but, you know, I, I don't really... Although, there, there was a point where he was dressed as, um... Oh, God. Patton? From from the you know the movie Patton where he's got the the general uniform and the, and the tank helmet on and stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I mean yeah. He was general chaos. Of course, general. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he was he was general chaos. Yeah. Not 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 big or crazy chaos, but you know general chaos. Yeah, general chaos. <laughs> uh. No 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 here. Let's just, let's take this a little off topic. And what do you think the season five premiere is going to be? Uh, Twilight becomes an omnicorn. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is that? Um, she gains an extra set of wings. She gains like dragon wings. wings. Yeah. <laughs> Bat wings. And season dragon thirty-five. Wings. Twilight gains a new wing, adding on to her thirty-fifth wing. <laughs> also, five heads. Yeah, five heads. Oh no, no! All all the main six turns into one giant uh, six-headed pony with fat <laughs> dragon wings. <laughs> and I'm thinking of that fur force. Oh god. Yes, pile. Yip mode activate. Uh. <laughs> oh god. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you're you're definitely gonna Dang have to put that in the description now. <laughs> oh god. Um. So. Uh, I think I think we've uh, I think we've discussed all we can. Let's uh, let's, let's give it a rating. Okay, now. everyone, everyone, great. Like 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 overall. How to what? <laughs> overall, what 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 do you give the the episode? Like 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 let's say one out of ten or whatever your chosen scale of scaleness is. I think four point five out of five. That's pretty good. The rainbow's ruined it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to what go. What are you there. talking Black about? The, the, rainbows, the rainbows was the best part of the episode. Uh, shut the fuck up. Get the hell out. I, I'm going to give it a 97%. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see. The, terrible was, the, the, the show was okay. Got some pretty good plot elements. Get some pretty good plots. Um, oh, and the nine out of ten. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, and uh, the story was actually it was uh, it was good, yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, nine out of ten, Bad. legit, legit nine out of ten. Okay, nine out of ten best episode ever. I I loved Tyrek. He's like yeah. he like, oh, yeah, like honestly, if I if I were to go and like have if I were to have made a list before this of like my favorite villains from any cartoon, yeah. 
And then Megan McCarthy from... <laughs> comes into your room and looks at that list and says, ooh. Well, I mean, I mean seriously, like, like Lord Turek from the original My Little Pony would have been on that list. <laughs> Next season, Smooth's confirmed. Hey, I hope so. That would be pretty cool. No, no. Yeah. But those, those Southerners. Bow, 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 the witches. Bow. Yeah, the witches. Oh, God. Um, uh, Danny DeVito as the Troll King or whatever it was. <laughs> the Grumble. Grum, yeah, the Grumble King. king. <laughs> you, 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 you know, it's really sad because, like, there's a radio show I was listening to where they referred to a, a man's junk as his grundle. <laughs> yeah. So like, so like every time they would, uh, every time they would reference the Grundle King in, in, in the Milo Pony, I'm like, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Overall, my 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 view was easily an eight or an eight point five out of ten. It was really good. The storyline was really good. Admittedly, yeah, the pacing kind of lost track a little bit towards the end. But you expect that when you're dealing with action. And while it would have been nice to see them uh, do action in some other way, other than, hey, let's imitate Dragon Ball Z, because kids like Dragon Ball Z. But it's okay. I, I, I liked it either way. I loved it. So... All right, well, I guess I can hear the music playing. Does anyone have anything they want to plug really quick before I, before I push stop here? Check um, out Weird Al Yankovic's new album. Okay. I don't know if there is one. Just go check it out. <laughs> I don't know if it exists, but be sure to check it out because it's, it's cool. Season 5 confirmed for Weird Al. <laughs> the one thing I can hope for is a cheese sandwich return. <laughs> Alan Parsons Project, High in the Sky. <laughs> All right. Hey. All right, well, I'm going to catch everyone later, and Donut out.